Hey guys, Zach Desjardins here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be covering the tapes that I use on HVAC installation. Now, I get asked all the time, which tapes do I use in which application, and which ones do I recommend? So I'm gonna go ahead and go through the three tapes that I use most of the time. So starting off is gonna be any metal to metal transitions. I like to use the uh, 686. So this is Sure Tape's Mastic Tape. It is a butyl foil tape, so it does have a foil back to it, and you do need to rip it off either with your hands or scissors. I prefer to use scissors, just get a nice clean cut. But this is gonna be a really good solid airtight tape for any metal to metal transitions. You can use it on other applications as well, but I mainly use this on anything that's gonna be metal to metal. On the SF686 Mastic Tape, it is rated up to 220 degrees, so you're good on any ductwork there. It is gonna be mold resistant and it's UL rated as well. So no matter if you're dealing with inspections or if you just wanna make sure you're using the proper tape that is UL rated, you're good to go on this as well. Like any other tape, you want to use a squeegee. A squeegee is gonna allow you to firmly apply that tape. It's going to basically create a little bit more friction as well so that adhesive adheres to the material a lot better than if you didn't use one. So, and not only that, it makes it look a whole lot better as well. So we have the butyl tape, which is the mastic for any metal to metal transitions. And then when you're applying flex duct to any metal transitions, I like to go with their DC81. So this is just a flex duct tape. It's, um, it's a very thin tape. You can rip it with your hands or use a knife, whichever you prefer. But again, it's gonna be a good solid tape for when you're applying that liner of the flexible duct to the metal transition. On the DC181 flex duct tape, you, it's a class one duct tape rated for cold temperatures. So down to negative 10 degrees all the way up to 210 degrees. It is mold resistant and it's UL rated as well. So now on this particular tape, you don't necessarily have to use a squeegee because it is thin and you can stretch the tape around whatever you're working on and it gets a really nice tight bond. But if you wanted to, you could still use a squeegee and go over it just to make sure everything is sealed good and properly. Now, once you have the flex connected to the main pipe, you're gonna have insulation on that pipe. Now, what I like to use is the FSK tape. Now, this is a very strong tape and it has this diamond plate type of texture to it that matches the insulation on the pipe and then it also looks really good when you use it with the flex insulation too. So that way you can seal the insulation on the flex going to the insulation on the hard pipe and that way it's all nice and seamless, it looks really good, and it's sealed off properly. The AF984CT is an SFK insulation tape. It is a cold temperature tape rated down to negative 20 degrees and all the way up to 260 degrees. So this is gonna be a good tape, no matter if you're working in a crawl space, attic, if it's gonna be outside, whatever the case is, it's gonna give you a good permanent bond uh, that resists water vapor and other contaminants. Now when it comes to installing any tape, the install process is key. You wanna make sure that you're using a squeegee anytime that you're applying that tape. That way it's got a nice airtight bond to the material. And before you even do that, make sure that the work area is nice and clean. Use a dry rag, get it, get the dust off, dirt off, whatever it is, and just make sure that, that, that you're prepping the area properly. That way the tape is gonna adhere the way it's supposed to. Now there are several other tapes out there available for different applications, but like I said before, these are the three main tapes that I use most of the time. It'll pretty much cover you on any material that you're gonna be using when you're installing HVAC ductwork. Now if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Give it a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, we'll see you guys later. Woo!